Hi, John here. Um, I'm in Oduhu here, where I was arrested by um, CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau, Auckland Central Police Station, uh, Detective Natalie Flowerdew Brown, and about eight other policemen pulled up outside in cars and arrested me. And I want to say, I've just got this package, package sent to me from the Central Police Station, Auckland Central Police Station, with my shirt, the King's shirt, in this. I want to make a record of me receiving it today on the 24th of November 2017, here in my little apartment, and uh, in 07B 16 Park Avenue. Who, when I was arrested right here with this one shirt and stripped off me and taken as evidence against me. Now this is the package that came. I'm just going to check with the office um, up in the front, the lobby, and identify that they did pick it up from the police and the courier. So this is addressed to John Wanau in lowercase 7b Bar 16 Park Avenue, Odahu, is in Couriers. <clears throat> 1 TKA LTS 5884 5663.2.8. Uh, Using the Couriers. That's the packet that came in. I opened it. Cut open. Let's see this. And then inside there was a property record sheet. New Zealand Police. I'm reading it out as evidence against Natalie Flower Dew Brown and all the police she liable in this country and everybody that's connected in a third party contract. So King's shirt jurisdiction of authority over this country with this hat and the eight point star on this shirt that she stripped off me. She didn't take the hat, she took the shirt. So I'll read this out what as best I can. Storage location. The property listed below was strike out the option that do not apply. Seized by executing a search warrant, executing a warrantless search power produced under production order. Under the Search and Surveillance Act 2012, under the nothing, seized, detained, removed or produced as an exhibit for safekeeping as deceased property, as property of uncertain status under Section 112. Name, full name, Waranoa in capitals, bar John in lowercase. Home phone, business phone, cell phone, at Auckland, the writing's so bad. That's the place. Can't even read the signals. 07 10th 2015. 7th of October 2015. Time 1330. Flower Dew Brown in lowercase. You see the deception in writing language that's fraudulent. And she signed it. Her signature is there. QID NF. I'm using this as evidence against you, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. You can't get away with it because you're dealing in another jurisdiction other than the King's jurisdiction, straight to Britain, UK, Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court and Te Unga Waka Marae Magistrate, Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, 
Auckland, New Zealand. You're facing the firing squad. Your signature and a witness signature. 1623. That's the person, a witness. That number. Cash no. BI 1. Black. Something. Shirt or something. Gold. Something. Can't read. They have terrible writing. Badge. Something. That's the badge that on the shirt. So that's the order. We're going to see the other side first. The item 01. Twelfth of October 2015. 1610. Signature. That's Natalie Flower Brown's signature. 4623. That's her number. She's going to get it. Signature. Somebody. J O E E four eight. O one. Item number twenty one. November two thousand seventeen. One o two something. R S. Q R D. S A A E six o. That's in uppercase. By the looks of it. Alan. Birchell, QID ABJ409 RTO, Papers of Change of Custody. Somebody signed it for me. Somebody has signed it out for me. I didn't pick it up. They sent it out to me. The offence is this. They've held it all this long because I left it there as evidence. Now I'm going to read out the package in here that these this shirt was put in here when I got arrested. It reads EXH reference number one more in capitals. You see the capital letters? The deceptive deceptive name here, one more, is the one they I cited them for taking money out of my trust. I want to claim it back, that name, and it's money that they've stolen out of it. Subject's name O one. They call me O one. Q O O C's details, print surname, Q R D signatures. File number one five O five one five O nine three O point six eight four four, and another number F five three five one three nine. You can see on the camera, and here it's got A C. AKCBA one seven three three two seven seven. Any distortion, discoloration, or wear warning appearing in the tape may indicate tampering. Do not open and notify sender immediately. So I've cut that bag open. And I've opened this bag seal and I'm pulling out for the first time my stolen shirt that the New Zealand Government Crown Corporation police stole. This is the, the shirt badge that they were talking about that is attached to the shirt. This is my property that was stripped off my back. On that day they came in with the coat of arms of King William the Fourth and the King of Hanover, um, Britain Hanover, and it's come back with the badge here that I've got on my hat here. Right, this this is the highest authority in the world that got stolen off me, stripped off my back. That I'm holding 950 million trillion trillion pound note against the establishment in this country, the Queen, that's Dave Libel, John Key, Natalie Flowerdew Brown, those landowners on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, 98 Wellesley Street, and 1 bar 61 Cook Street and 61 Cook Street, 
you're getting 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head for stripping the king's surrogate authority off me in your jurisdiction that's lower than what I'm wearing here and John Key's wearing this eight point star over here and I'm wearing it on my hat and on my shirt that has more authority to it than him, the thug, thief that's run off and he's caught in the Panama Papers and the, uh, uh, the other papers, Paradise Papers and the money that he sent to Hillary Clinton, 30 million of New Zealand taxpayers' money and the Paramount Chief's money, stolen that and sent it to her terrorist organization and ISIS. So there's my shirt. I've unsealed it. It's got this six point star in it. One, two, three, four, five, six point star of the US federal state government. But we have the coat of arms of King Ernest Augustus, King William the Fourth, King William the Third of Westminster government. That's my authority to act for the king and to speak for the king. And here I have the documents to go with the flag, to go with the flag, the 1834 Declaration of War flag. It's here flying in Te Unga Waka Marae, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court in Epsom. Natalie Flower Dew Brown, you are now going to be arrested, charged with John Key and the owners of Cook Street, we're going to arrest you for treason, for theft of the taxpayers' money from New Zealand, and the business, death and marriage certificates, and using my name, forging my name, and stealing money out of my trust that is in capital letters that I have control over in my King's jurisdiction, King's Glen's Native Court. This is my copy of the original document signed and sealed by the two chiefs, Kogunhika and Kilawakato Fara, here in Manukau. I'm sorting that out on Facebook now. That's my book. And this is the book for the private investigator, CI private investigator, ex Scotland Yard, detective from Britain, Graham Allen. It's going to seize Cook Street. Seize the motel, Lotton Point. Seize the property of Haho B block. Seize the properties at our, our Rotary East on the um, land blocks there, hitting our 8 12 blocks at Port Awanui. Seize all those lands. Seize Tung Waka Marae's land underneath it. She's back the three properties I had with my daughter at the time. She's back Waitangi land blocks, Utatonga title I held, the original customary title, deeds. She's the treaty grounds, take the flag mast off there and the flags and put it on Mangungu. Treaty ground, Mangungu Mission House, and the Methodist Church there, and also the Rapana Church on Taiki Road, Poreke Road, where Lobo Morris Baker is living, and she's back into the Taheke Marae Native Magistrate Court. This is the other book for Yutai Choi, uh, my QC lawyer that signed John Key into the High Court of Admiralty in London. That's on record on YouTube and YouTube in his office. I'm going to see him to take this book. He's got already got one of these books. We've added in Refere for Manikau and Rogan receipt here. The receipt of a sale and purchase agreement of Auckland after two 
Manako Marae Waikato title. And the lead check of Manako's name is not on the New South Wales land information documents that I've registered and they rejected it. And that's the offence. They're in, they're in trouble with me and our jurisdiction of this eight point star municipalities, King William III Dutchman, World Court, Brussels, NMI statute standing in Brussels, standing in London. That's my title to this country and the whole Pacific Islands. Discovery documents. Okay, so that's a copy of the rejected title with the Lefa Lefa Manukau's name on it. Moriori Manukau title. That they failed to put that name Manukau onto their New South Wales New Zealand land information documents. So all these letters of Logan here all stamped with our stamps. J.P. Moriori, descendant acting for the Manukau Moriori Trust and myself its executor of its trust and all its inheritance. Now there's the receipt here. There's the receipt of Rogan and Rewhere for Manukau from his Manukau Marae at Afitu, South Manukau Harbour, where those chiefs signed their treaty writing documents without Manukau's name on it. Now, Deeds Receipt 79, you see I've said it enough, but you can see the signatures Bundy Waitai, Hirawini Karaka, Manahi Parapara Mohini, and Hoani Kahaki Wano. That's been John. So, Bundy Waitai, the Waitai name is in the Roroa, Te Roroa um, Hapu, or tribe, and also Hedewini Kraka or Selwyn Clark with an E on the end. He was responsible for the native courts at the time of selling the native lands. And Bundy Waitai's name is right inside that Te Rorua Whakapapa that was fashioned out of the Te Uriho, um, treaty claims that was fashioned around Te Rawakato as a female Bundy Waitai. I must have you say, I've got it on Facebook today, you can read it, everybody's reading it, and in Scotland they're reading everything I say, and in America they know what I'm saying is true and exact. So this is what I'm saying with this shirt that has come back, because I'm wearing it under this corduroy as a chief, paramount chief, with Manahi Parapara Mohini, but Hedewini Kraka, he's got the flag around his neck, he's got no legal in it. The legal's with me and Manahi and the Manukau that it was meant for. It's not a flag to be bended around in protest. It is a trading bank, magistrate, court, commercial, private contract flag of protection from the British Navy. Not the New Zealand Navy, the British Navy. Now, um, Bundy, I'm afraid to say he's talking about whakapapa and not money. He's got not, not anything he wants to say about money. Money doesn't come into his equation. So, that's 970 million trillion trillion split down to trillion lots against you, Natalie Flower, Dewey Brown, you've got a trillion pounds on your head and strip you of everything for doing that to me and stripping this shirt off me. I've got another one in there. I've made another one. It's somewhere. I've got to throw this somewhere. But the other one's here somewhere. Um, never mind. I'm just saying. Here's. I had to get... You made me go and make another one. You made me go and make another one. And I had another one made to replace that one because you stole it off me 
You see this one, this King William's photo here. I'm going to make some new ones again. But this one, I had to make this one. It's well worn now because it's been through a lot of hueys. And this is brand new still. I only just put it on when you came around and just took it off. I put this badge here because it's American corrupted. This badge here of King William the fourth, that's on my head here with his crown on top. Okay, so you you allegedly stole this shirt off my back, the king. I'm the king. I'm speak I'm the only one speaking for the kings. Okay? And you stole that from me and I'm going to put you in our court and try you in the British courts in our court. We have a dual federal state Commonwealth government of the world. That's that. US federal state is no power beside this Maui crown federal state government of the world. Deal with Westminster, Britain, UK. So that's all I want to say that I'm taking this shirt down to the office to verify that this is what I got back in the package and I just want to tell them that I got it back and they saw me getting arrested. They saw me get arrested. And everyone was calling me this and that. All you people that called me names online in front of the world saying I'm a criminal, including you, well brother, that man with his cheeky website, trillion on your head. All you people got a trillion on your head. All of them. And 43 of you people in that Cook Street property. I'm taking this down to the office to verify that I have received it. Take the camera off there. I'll go down with the book. I'll go down with the book. And just show you that they saw me get arrested. Okay? Excuse the mess in my house, but that's the way I am. That's the way I am. I just want to go down and see them. Like that, that, and that. You see, because it was traumatizing. It was traumatic for me, a king, surrogate king, acting as the original owners of this country to be be little like what they did to me. Okay, so they did that to me, a real estate person, right? And our flag over here. They did that to me and underestimated who I was. They thought I was just nothing. They treated me like trash and I'm going down to see the office to show them. Oh, I've got to get the other, sorry. I've got to get the other shirt. I've got the second shirt. I've got to get the other shirt. This is where I live. I won't be living here very long, but it does. It does me for now. It's a bit of a messy place. So I'm going to tidy it up a bit. That's the way I live for now. And can't help it when you're a busy man. You've got things to do. I'm not exactly how supreme. So I'm going down to the office to tell them what happened. Ah, hang on, I'll put this over here. Put this up here. Stick this on the camera. Stick that there. Put this in my pocket. I just get my stuff and take them down. Because I want them to witness what I'm going through. I'm going through a traumatic time where this government of no authority has done this to me. It's not, so it won't be tolerated. This is what I'm saying about people who rough me up 
on Titimurai, the same thugs that roughed me up on Cook Street, and I'm within my legal rights to act as a king, sorry, as a captain on a ship or captain of the native chiefs. Okay, I'm allowed to do what I do. The chiefs have approved it. The chiefs have approved it. And that's all there is. Let's go down to tell them. That's me over there. Got my hat on. I'm just going to go down to see the boys and the girl. I'll just wait till 